When a star blows up, something even weirder takes its place. A big layered shell of hot star stuff that expands into space forever and occasionally gains sentience. Hi everyone, astrophysicist here to talk about supernova remnants. All stars die, but some of them do it with pizzazz. A supernova can be brighter than its host galaxy for days, and if one went off in our neighborhood, it would be like having a second sun in the sky for weeks. But what happens after a supernova? At the center of the explosion is the star remnant. If the star was 8 to 15 times more massive than our sun, that's a neutron star. If it's bigger than that, that's a black hole. But the part that you're seeing is basically exploded star guts. Check this out. This is a composite image of the supernova remnant Cassiopeia A, taken with three different space telescopes. This red stuff here is infrared light, the yellow is visible light that we can see with our eyes, and the blue and green are x-rays. By the way, you can see the neutron star in the middle of this image. It's tiny, the size of Manhattan, but it's so hot and producing so many x-rays we can actually see it. The Chandra X-ray Space Telescope is really good for studying supernova remnants. This one is called the Kepler remnant because it was actually discovered by the famous astronomer Johannes Kepler in 1604. He was wondering, what the heck is that new star in the sky? And eventually he was wondering, where did the new star go? 400 years later, the Chandra X-ray Space Telescope was able to study this explosion that almost frozen in time. In fact, the shape of the supernova remnant tells us how the star died. This is N49, a highly asymmetric explosion, where the center is actually here, and notably you have this extremely high velocity blob of material out here that preceded the rest of the explosion. Now the blob is made of silicon, sulfur, and neon, elements which are usually found closer to the core of the star. This implied that what happened to the star when it died is that a piece of the core just blew out, like a popped cork, and then the star exploded rapidly after that. This is a really cool example of how something found in one branch of science, in this case x-rays and medicine, find their way to other branches of science and become really useful there. This is why all of our science funding is important. Thanks for tuning in. If you like my science videos, consider subscribing, and keep an eye out for my upcoming book, Life in Seven Numbers, out next year from Princeton University Press.